Hi everyone. Um, I've just come out of a lunchtime uh, CBD presentation I was giving for a consultancy firm in Dublin there. And, and after the presentation, I was asked about um, after sales service uh, support, warranty, all that type of stuff. And uh, it came up in conversation that a lot of companies um, would employ uh, facilities management companies. Um, which are often absolutely fine um, however on occasion there are situations where all the good work that the consultancy firm has done in relation to their, their design all the good work that the mechanical contractor has done in relation to the installation and um, the commissioning engineer does a good job commissioning the equipment make sure it all works as it should and um, setting up parameters and so on and um, but sometimes on occasion the after sale service could be um, pawned out to a facilities management company um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing you know they they can have excellent service engineers as well um, however on occasion there can be guys doing the service that really um, aren't as familiar with the equipment and um, they're not factory trained they might not be um, uh, as qualified let's say um, and they just mightn't be as aware of the software parameter programming and so on um, and all the good work that's done by everybody else in advance can be destroyed on the click of a button literally um, and it can actually cost thousands or tens of thousands in running costs if somebody hits the wrong button so um, and by the way even when a chiller is commissioned by a, a good qualified experienced uh, service engineer the site conditions can change from let's say it's commissioned in the summertime and then in the autumn or the winter uh, or the spring for that matter obviously the loads can change especially in a HVAC application as opposed to a process cooling application and uh, you might find that the chiller is short cycling for example um, and that can um, you know that can be extremely inefficient so, or if it's a multifunctional unit, you might have um, a much higher load and a lower cooling load because um, the Airmac NRP multifunctional units are becoming extremely popular now. So, um, or vice versa, you could have a um, high cooling load in your summer and a very low heating load. And every time you change mode of operation, um, there's a change over sequence, you are out of uh, production in relation to cooling or heating, or both actually. Um, and there can be all sorts of issues associated um, with this. So there was one example of a project where I had a service engineer going to do a, a, a scheduled service. It was during the warranty period. Um, the client noticed that the chiller was short cycling more often. Um, of course, these are all parameters that can be set and, and, and modified um, to be site specific. But in this particular uh, situation, the um, the chiller was short cycling a little bit. We made a very simple modification and he noticed that I rang the customer back actually the next day and he told me that he noticed a massive difference uh, in relation to the operation. Um, it was much more stable um, and obviously um, that's really good for, for, for him as the client um, and running costs and obviously for the operation and the lifespan of the chiller as well. Okay, so in summary, um, basically I'd be recommending that you should use whoever you bought the equipment off or like I said, their distributor or their agent, so long as that they are product trained and qualified to look after any equipment that you purchase or install. Um, even if they cost a little bit more to have them to look after. Um, there's no amount of pennywise pound footage. You could be saving a few bob by getting a cheaper um, service company in, but it could cost you a hell of a lot more in relation to your running costs and the lifespan of your equipment because if it's not operating the way it should um, the lifespan will be reduced no doubt about it okay hope you got some value out of that see you again spot the difference that the tie is gone um i just wanted to add in um if you have any more queries questions about maintenance support anything like that uh, feel free to give me a shout uh, again peter mcmahon european industrial chiller is limited um the best contact is um my email peter dot mcmahon m c m a h o n at e i c l dot i e and uh, i'll be more than happy to help anyone out if i can thank you bye